Hey everyone! Welcome to a new video from our Play With Me Toys for Kids channel. Today we are going to go ahead and try out the Play-Doh Sweet Shop ice cream machine. And I'm going to start with the yellow Play-Doh Plus. And also the pink Play-Doh Plus. The Play-Doh Plus smells um, really good actually, it kind of smells like vanilla, much better than the other Play-Doh. Um, but of course, don't want to try it, not for eating, but it is nice that it has a, a yummy smell. Okay, so I'm going to roll these into little snakes here, next to one another. Because we've got to fit it into our press up here. So then I'm going to put them right inside. And take a little bit off the top because it was a little too long. And then press the ice cream out. So I've got to put my ice cream cone here at the bottom. And press. Sometimes you have to guide it with your fingers a little bit so it doesn't spill over the side. Okay. And then you can just kind of twist it off like that and put it into shape. And here we have our first ice cream cone. Let's see, I'll call this strawberry lemon flavored. Mmm, yum. So we could decorate it a little bit further, although I like it just as it is already. So for the next one, let's do pistachio ice cream with this um, light green. You could also do call it peppermint if you want, or mint ice cream, um, but I like pistachio. Okay. So this one is not Play-Doh Plus, this one's normal, but I'm going to go ahead and try to put it in the press as well, see if it works here. Okay. We've got to get a, I'm going to use a little um, Sunday cup this time, and press. Actually, the normal Play-Doh is coming out pretty much just as easily as the Play-Doh Plus. Not too difficult to press, which is awesome, and it's coming out, um, you know, really nicely in the, in the ice cream shape here. So that's awesome. I'm adding a little bit of Play-Doh there because we didn't have enough for the, to fill the cup. Okay. Now we have a nice big glass of ice cream. Yum. Oops. Okay. That looks really yummy. These really do make it look like delicious ice cream swirls. So now I'm going to take this color. We'll call it blue ba uh, blueberry, even though it's more purple, but could be it could be blueberry so again I've got to get it in this shape so it can fit right in the press and we've got to put our ice cream cup down there Okay. All right, so we have three ice creams already ready to go. 
But these are looking a little plain, so now we're going to decorate them. For our blueberry ice cream, I'm going to make a banana using the yellow Play-Doh. Press it into our banana shape over here. Okay, and now I'm going to use pink Play-Doh and make a berry, a raspberry. And what you can't leave off of the ice cream, of course, is um, whipped cream. So I took this tool from the Peppa Pig set, because this one didn't have any, any uh, whipped cream tool, but I'm gonna use white Play-Doh and put it in this tool to make some whipped cream for the top. So that is essential. So I'm gonna put the white Play-Doh right in here in the Peppa Pig tool and go ahead and press out some whipped cream for the top. And we are done with our first beautiful ice cream, blueberry, banana, raspberry. Okay, now let's look at our pistachio ice cream. Of course, we've gotta add whipped cream topping on the top. First, I'm gonna just press it out and then I can make the shape right. Okay. All right, our pistachio ice cream needs something more. I'm gonna add a waffle piece. I'm gonna use brown Play-Doh. It didn't come in the set, but we've got some, so I'm gonna use it, push it right into the little heart-shaped waffle piece um, that we can put in the side. Mmm, I love it. All right, so we'll just stick that right in the side here. I can find a spot. All right, there we go. And that's it for our pistachio ice cream. Now, I'm going to make my absolute favorite ice cream. So we need three colors that didn't come in this set. That includes light brown, dark brown, and white. And then we need an empty Play-Doh container. And I'll sh show you guys what this is all for. So the light brown Play-Doh, we're gonna make it flat. And we're going to have two of these kind of flat round pieces. Then we're going to take the empty Play-Doh container and use it as a um, cutter here, like a cookie cutter kind of, and make perfect circles. Okay, so we've got two um, perfect circles and I'm gonna make these these are um, cookies so it's gonna be a little cookie sandwich so we're gonna make some vanilla we'll use um, white play-doh and use this little scoop 
to make some um, a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream put that right on top of our first cookie make another scoop and put the top cookie over it and then we are going to decorate the top with these little with the dark brown and make it little chocolate chips so I'm just breaking off little circles and putting them right on top and my absolute favorite ice cream treat is complete a chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwich okay here you can see all of our ice cream creations they look so yummy now I want some ice cream hello everyone and welcome to play with me toys for kids today I have the play mo play doh um, trolls hair salon and I showed this to you the last time but today we're gonna do the hairdo on brunch because last time we did it on poppy so we're gonna start with brunch and I'm excited to see what we're gonna do with his hair today so let's see hmm. we're gonna start with brunch and I think that I want to combine different colors together hmm, what do you think let's first sit him here on the, th on the throne and then we're gonna put some play-doh and put the throne in this structure so I'm gonna combine three different colors I'm gonna do a green and then let's put this one away so I'm gonna do green yellow that's that would look cool so I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow And finally blue so those are gonna be my three colors green yellow and blue and I think they match with branches colors so that would be cool and I really like play-doh it feels so soft okay so here I have my three colors and I'm gonna mix them and then I'm gonna introduce them here and it's time to press so here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow, so this is a lot of hair. It's super long, but I love the colors. Look at that. Green, yellow, blue. It's a great combination in my opinion. Wow. So, we can do a lot of things. Let's braid it. Wow. So there are tons of possibilities of hairdos and I'm doing a braid right now. And the cool thing about this is that we can just combine it at the bottom and there we go. That's a cool thing about Play-Doh. And this part fell, so maybe I can come I can put it here like a like a bangs or just like a decoration there we go hmm, I think it looks super cool oh and I have another idea so here in the back we have some shapes like a little flower and a little bee so let's do hmm, a little flower in orange that would look really cool so let's grab a little bit and press it and there we go look at that flower it looks so cute. We're gonna put that on Branch's hair. And, oh, well, we can get rid of this Play Doh afterwards. Okay, so the flower will go right here. Oh, it looks so cute. Okay, so now it's time for this to go away. And we need to remove all that extra Play Doh let's get it out of the throne and then we're gonna remove all of this play-doh that got stuck in here so 
it's very important that we take it out there we go so this is ready and now it's time to do Poppy's hairdo and the last time we talked about using this super cool mold so we're gonna use it today and we're gonna use pink of course So let's do this and this. Then we're going to press it together. And then introduce Poppy's head there. And we're going to open it. Wow, oh, <laughs> so I guess the hair is super heavy for her. But anyway, so we're gonna just fix this a little bit and there's a small crack in here, so let's just put it together. There we go. So I think it looks super cool and oh here is a bow. We should we should really use this bow. So let's see. Oh we can use this. Okay. Oh how cute. This looks so awesome. So as you see, there are many different possibilities and options to create original hairdos. And write in the comments below which one you like the most. Do you like poppies or brunch? I think both of them are super cool, very original. And I love this color combination that we did here. And we can cut the remaining part of the braid because it was just too long. And this one, I really love the bow. And I think this mold is really cool and it allows for crazy hairdos. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So welcome to Play With Me Toys for Kids. Today I have here something from Play-Doh for you. It's Dodo Creation Station. So this is practically a really big set that offers a lot of different activities all in one. So um, drawing, coloring, DIY stuff, of course playing with play-doh um so yeah i'll show you all of them it's good for ages three and older so let's back it out and see what we get so this is the basis i believe so you can stick your crayons clay and papers in here here we have three wax crayons green blue and yellow it says on them let's create apart from that we have red play-doh And a lot of small pieces this looks like a press for molding or something like that maybe it's a stamp we'll see now we have here different papers for coloring so it's like a small coloring book we'll see later what pictures we got there and um, here we have another play-doh in light blue and that's about what we got in the box. So let's check out the pictures. Um, so yeah, these are super cute. They're also themed differently. Let's run through them really quickly. says let's create so these are the play-doh figures here are um, I'm not sure what this is let's see what it is this looks like a tower maybe we can put it in the middle of our basis So yeah, this doesn't have a function. At first I thought it was a stamp, but I think it's really just decoration. Apart from that, we have this mold so we can make the dodo clay man. Um, just stick some clay in there and press together. Here we have a tool, so a knife and a fork in one. We also have some feet and legs so that we can make our clay man. 
and of course our hands and arms we actually have five pairs so we can make a claim and army so all in all this is it i think it's pretty cool um it's pretty great because more kids can play at once at the station um, and there's all these different things um, that we can do as well, which is really, really great. So all the different stuff. Um, so Play-Doh doesn't disappoint as always. This moving part is for the paper to make the coloring easier. That's a really cool tool that we can use um, when coloring, especially for small kids. So yeah, all in all, this is pretty great. Hello everyone, this is the Cookie Monster again and today I'm gonna show you the Play-Doh Kitchen Creation Set. Oh, hi Cookie Monster, um, sure, I can show them the Play-Doh Kitchen Set. Yeah, I wanna help too. I want to make noodles and I also wanna make pasta. Okay, sounds good. Um, but I need you to move to the side, okay, because I need to show them. Okay, so hello everyone, this is the Play-Doh Kitchen Creations set this is super cool because we can make our own pasta in all shapes and sizes and colors so this is super cool we can make spaghetti and all sorts of things and we have five different colors and we can be little chefs today so i think that's super cool and fun and cookie monster is here with us yes i want to make some cookie pasta well, we're not going to make cookies today. We're going to make different types of pasta. But I want cookies. Cookie pasta. That sounds super, super good. Okay, Cookie Monster. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about that. Yes, yes. Let's try it. Okay. So let me open this. This is the machine. We're, and we can put it together. Okay, so let's take out everything that comes here. There we go, so here is this. And the most important part, the clay. So here we have the green one. Oh, it looks brand new. Then we have this one that is kind of yellow. Really good. Then we have red. And here's a red one. And now we're going to grab the brown one. And finally the white. So we have all of these different colors of clay that we can start using for our pasta. Super! Okay, so let's see. This goes here. Here we have two cups and plates so we can serve our creations. And we can also make different veggies. For example, broccoli or this other one that I don't know what that one would be. But we can make different toppings for our pasta. Here we have mushrooms, um, shrimp, look at that, super cool, a bunny, <laughs> and different shapes. So this is cool. We can switch this piece right here and that is how we create different types of noodles. And then we have this thing to roll everything. We have another mold to create different shapes. We just close it. And we have some tools, or <laughs> I should say silverware, so we can eat the pasta. But we cannot eat it, so Cookie Monster, you don't get any ideas, okay? And then we can cut it with this. So how it works is that we put the clay right here and then we press, we bring this orange part down. Okay, let's start with the brown clay. We're going to put the cup so the pasta falls right there. We introduce the clay 
in here and press the orange piece. There we go. Look at that. We're having spaghetti. Ooh, noodles. And then we can braid them. <laughs> Fun. And then we need to cut them. So let's bring the knife. So the pasta is ready. And then we can switch this and we need to remove all the clay that is in there so it doesn't mix with the other colors. Okay, so now let's switch. And I want to use this red shape. Okay. And that will go with yellow clay. So we'll introduce it right there. And let's see how it turns out. Oh wow, look at that. This is a flat type of pasta, which might be linguine. Hmm, what do you guys think? What do you think this is? So here is this and we can cut it with the knife. And we can mix it in with our other spaghetti. Okay. So now we should do one of these cool shapes. Hmm. I like this bowl one. Yay, look at this, we have another shape. And I don't know the name of that pasta, do you guys know it? If you do, write it in the comments below. We're gonna do one more of those. And how about this bunny? Oh no, let's do it again. Perfect, look at that. Do one more of this bow one. Oh, look at this! I love how it's turning out. Yeah, I like it too, but I would prefer if there were some cookies. Can we make some cookies? Cookie Monster, this is a pasta maker. Anyway, let's do this. Oh, ravioli! Wow, this set is really cool. So here are all the types of pasta that I made. I really like them all. I think the ravioli are my favorite one. This is super cool! I know it is! Look at this! And then we can just grab the fork and eat, eat it. Okay, Cookie Monster, do you want to try it? Oh, does it taste like cookies? I'm sorry. Um, um, um. <laughs> yeah, so the cool thing about this is that we have tons of different designs to make pasta. And yeah, Cookie Monster likes it. Yes, it's good. It's very good. Okay, so that's a good thing. Wow, okay, he can eat it all. <laughs> yum, yum, give me more, give me more. Okay, 
So here we have all this pasta for you. <laughs> wow, the cookie monster really loves to eat. Doesn't matter what. I love it. I also like cheeseburger, but cookies are my favorite. Yes, we know that. So this was Play-Doh Kitchen creation. It was the pasta maker. So let me know what you think of this toy. Do you like it? Write it in the comments below. I'll be happy to read them. Thank you for watching Play With Me Toys for Kids. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free and be the first one to know when new videos are posted. Share this video with your friends and see you next time!